there everybody, this is Ms. Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 6.4 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. Lesson 6.4 is about writing fractions with common denominators. So they're going to give you a fraction and they're going to ask you to write another fraction. They're going to give you two fractions and they're going to ask you to write them with common denominators. Um, if you're in my class, you need to be filling out page 240 in your big math book as we go along through this lesson. And also, if you're in my class, I would like you to write down the password cat in your planner so that I know that you've watched this video. Okay, so we're going to start here with our first example. It says write four fifths and one half as a pair of fractions with common denominators. The way that you do this, the very first step that you do is you look at your bottom number. It's a five for this fraction and a two for this fraction. So you're going to list out multiples of five and multiples of 2. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And then multiples of 2, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then what I need to do is I need to circle the first number that they have in common. The first number that they have in common is a 10. So now that I know the first multiple that they have in common, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my four fifths to have a 10 on the bottom and my one half to have a 10 on the bottom. So same thing that we did in lesson 6.1 and 6.2. So I asked myself, what do I do to this five down here to make it into a 10? I multiply it by two. And as we know, everything that we do to the bottom, we also have to do to the top. So 4 times 2 is 8. So I will rewrite my 4 fifths as 8 tenths. Now, same thing with 1 half. I need to ask myself, what do I do to this 2 on the bottom to get a 10 on the bottom? I multiply 2 times 5 to get 10. And everything I do to the bottom, I must also do to the top. So 1 times 5 is 5. So I am rewriting my 1 half as 5 tenths. So I rewrote 4 fifths and 1 half as a pair of fractions with common denominators. Now they both have 10 on the bottom. So I can write 4 fifths and 1 half as 8 tenths and 5 tenths. Okay, so that's the first part of the lesson. They give you two fractions and they say write them with common denominators. So just to recap, first you're going to have to look at your bottom number of each fraction, list the multiples of those bottom numbers, circle the first multiple that they have in common, and that's going to be your new common denominator. So once you have your new common denominator, you need to rewrite your fractions as a new fraction with that common denominator on the bottom. So that's how I do writing fractions into fractions with common denominators. Now the second part of this lesson, which will also be on your homework, it, is it gives you fractions and asks you if they are equivalent. So we're going back to use our knowledge from lessons 1 6.1 and 6.2. So we're dealing with the same fractions here as above, 4 fifths and 1 half, and we want to know if they're equivalent. What you do is you look at the numbers on the bottom. You see your smallest one is 2, and you ask yourself, is 5 a multiple of 2? Is 5 a multiple of of 2. It is not a multiple of 2. I never say 5 when I'm counting by 2's. So my answer would be a big no. They are not equivalent. And if I were to explain, I would say because 5 is not a multiple of 2. So let me give you another example for that because there's going to be a lot of these on your homework. Say for instance they give you one half and two fifths, and they ask if it's equivalent. 
I look at my smaller number and I ask, is five a multiple of two? No, we never say five when we're counting by twos. Okay, let's try a different one. Let's do one half and three six. So I look for my smaller number, two, and I ask myself, is six a multiple of two? Yes, it is. I say six when I'm counting by twos. So these fractions are equivalent. Okay, one more. Let's do six tenths and three fifths. So I have six tenths and three fifths. Look for my smaller one and ask, is 10 a multiple of five? Yes, it is. 10 is a multiple of five. So those fractions are equivalent, yes. Okay, so that is lesson 6.4. I hope you understand now how to write fractions with common denominators and how to tell if two fractions are equivalent. If you have any questions, please leave me a message. Thank you.